am I going to breathe anyway? Yeah. This YouTube is how to be happy. Why is that so important? Well, that's our purpose for being here. Everything in life is thriving, except for us humans, because we have the capacity to ponder, to ponder and protect ourselves, to think ahead, and that actually pulls us out of the current moment, which is your power to create. Your power is in the current moment. And so if you find yourself unhappy, it's because you're worrying. And that is a habitual pattern that's going to do nothing but bring you what you're worrying right to your door to face, to conquer. So if you find yourself unhappy, you have to decide, like I did today, two things. You have to make a decision. Either I'm the victim of life and things are just happening to me and I can't control my circumstances, or I'm controlling my reality. And if that's the one you choose, which is what I choose, then you have to own everything, including the things that are not going well in your day. So how do you handle that if things aren't going well in your day and you're suddenly very unhappy and even depressed? Well, by just admitting that you are creating your reality gives you your power back. That will pull you right back to happiness. And then the next step is you look for the next best happy thought, anything to be happy about, because you want to create new patterns, patterns in the quantum field, in the magnetic field, that are going to draw to your reality Help, happiness, great circumstances, creativity, all of that comes from staying in the moment and being happy. So, I'm happy, and I hope you are, and now I'm going to share the swimming dragon with you. It's Qigong, which is what I'm studying and what I'm utilizing with my quantum physics work. It starts with a triangle. I'm in heels. I don't think you're supposed to do the swimming dragon in heels. <laughs> There'll be more where that came from. <laughs> Come see what I ate today on the raw food diet and be happy. And give it a thumbs up if you like my swimming dragon art. Give it a thumbs up if you think I need more work on it. And subscribe! Woo! What's that swimming in the ocean? Do you see that big fin or is that just a bird sitting on it? See on the right? Oh, too bad that's not Mary Lee though. Great white shark. That would have been kick ass. Wow, look at that. That is stunning, huh? Amazing. Here are my frozen bananas getting ready to go in my green smoothie. Okay, it's ready to go. I've got uh, organic spinach, almond milk, and frozen bananas. And it makes a mind-blowing breakfast. Look at this breakfast, not bad. Beautiful. And look at this day. Happy Martin Luther King Day. This is stage two of Tour de France. This is my ride this morning. Day four of the Raw Food Diaries. And I wanted to share this ride with you. It was designed by Gino from Cycle Fusion, an exact replica of Tour de France, stage two, with the cadence that we need to use, the RPM, 
and the resistance to match the mountains. He names the mountains, he gives us slides, goals, and we get to pretend like we are on the Tour de France stage two. And it's really a challenge and it feels incredible to complete it. I wanted to share what the ride looks like with you. Moving to a juice bar in Atlantic Beach and I'm taking you with me. It's this really cute little community. And here is the juice bar that we're heading to. There, Biomax. If you're a John Gershom fan, you have heard of the Turtle Inn. And now it's called the Ocean's One. Right here on the beach. It's one of my favorite places. Here's a little bookstore, a local bookstore. And there's a killer tea shop called Lily's. You can park right here. And my dream one day is to have a house right directly on the sand, on the ocean, but a modern house. Super modern, cement floors, cement walls, minimalist furniture. It would be really incredible to be down here on Atlantic Beach or Neptune Beach. And here's the houses that are along the sand along the ocean's edge. And there's the Turtle Inn, which is now Ocean's One. So if you ever need to get a hotel near Jacksonville Beach, that's the place to stay, Ocean's One. Oh, it's beautiful. Just beautiful today. Look at that. Gorgeous. Hello, birds. You guys are having an amazing time. Woo. Hello, birds. What a view you have today. Look at this. What do you have to say? Are you saying something to me? Huh? You asking me if I have any... Uh, look at that little baby. <laughs> Are you asking if I have any bread? I don't. I'm sure there's plenty of fish out there in the sea. for making these beautiful it's a beautiful color the beets make it. they call it the blood kale salad with uh, fresh pressed garlic lemon and a little bit of olive oil um, and some fresh fruit on top we're trying to get the whole full pound of greens in a day uh, drinking a shot of wheatgrass helps and the green smoothies but it's lovely I'm craving this salad can't wait to have it. You see how sunny it is today on the beach. These are mug bean. Uh, I've grown them from seeds. You basically wash them with filtered water twice a day at 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. And this is the fourth day. Look how long their tails are. And these are super foods. They're incredible, like wheatgrass. Uh, let's make a wish. If I can find a quarter, a dime, anything. All right. Oh, a quarter. I'm going to make a big wish. I'm going to wish that my book becomes the new Eat, Pray, Love movie. 
right away. This is cool. Natural Life is sponsoring a music festival March 15th and all the proceeds are going to go to the Children's Hospital. So we'll try to make it to that. And that's, and I'm on my way to Natural Life to pick out a present for Alieska's first birthday. I can believe it, my brother's daughter. Here we go. It's all organic and they're living happy. I think I'll just be happy today. I'm going to get these uh, letters for Alieska's birthday for her room. Trying on some sequins, having fun, of course. Why not? This is my amazing dinner tonight. It's raw almond butter and organic celery. This is also one of my favorite snacks on the Rothy diet. Can't wait for it. Mmm. From the raw food meetup at European Street, we had some leftover um, raw cheese, but really the raw cheese is made with nuts, raw nuts. And so today I bought some raw crackers, which is incredible on the raw food diet because it makes you feel like you're normal. You're eating beautiful crackers that are made in the dehumidifier and we added the raw nut cheese to it and I can't wait to share it with you. Thank you for watching and if you like this YouTube, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, it's free. And I'll share with you more of my raw food diaries. Good night.